The price of Bitcoin shot up to $30,000 last night, and right now it sits at $29,500, having taken a little bit of a drop to the downside so far this morning. There's only 14 days left until the World Series of Trading kicks off, and we see a tremendous amount of volume enter into the crypto markets. And only two days ago, I said this in a different video here on the channel. I'm just going to play it. Is because Tether has declared 3.3 billion in excess reserves. What does that mean? That means that Tether's got a lot of money right now. And don't forget what Tether pledged to do just a few months ago. Tether, just a few months ago, pledged to buy Bitcoin with a portion of its net profit back to USDT stablecoin. Basically, they said that they were going to invest 15% of all of their profits into uh, Bitcoin. And 15% of $3.3 billion is a lot of money. At the same time as this, of course, how does that affect the price of Bitcoin? Well, that's $400 million of buying pressure. That $400 million would come in one single buy, which means that Bitcoin is probably due a pump. And if I were Tether, and it's that time of the month again where they're going to do it, I'll do it now. Like, volume's pretty low. I mean, Tether is a company that holds a lot of Bitcoin on its balance sheets. So therefore, it benefits Tether as a company to buy up the price of Bitcoin, inflate the value of the balance sheet, and then declare an incredibly profitable quarter. So did you realize what's just happened? I got it 100% correct. Isn't that correct? This was pretty fun. Uh, fun games with TMG here on the channel. Tether appeared to have bought about $400 million worth of Bitcoin over the past 24 hours. The reason we saw the sell-off is because... I mean, people bought the dip, and, and there was a lot of people expecting the price of Bitcoin to lose that $28,500 level. I warned against that in yesterday's video. I said, look, that doesn't seem very likely. Uh, I think that's a very strong level of support. And of course, when we bounced $1,000 off the, I mean, it's $1,500 bounce in the past 24 hours. It's pretty significant for Bitcoin at this point in time. It's clear that Tether were the ones buying the dip. There wasn't significant volume coming out on any particular exchange other than couple of derivative exchanges showing multiple hundred million dollars worth of buying and of course some spot exchanges doing multiple hundred million dollars but the thing is that's only coming from one or two different accounts one or two different users there's not a whole lot of stimulated volume in the crypto space right now we've seen that volume drop off again since the rally up yesterday we saw a drop off and that drop off has come because it's only a few participants that are buying up the price of bitcoin who are those participants tether tether is buying up the price of bitcoin right now and the question is do they have any more Bitcoin to buy or was that it? That was what $400 million does to the market. Now, it's also important to consider that that coincided with the news from MicroStrategy that Michael Saylor has bought another, how many Bitcoin is it? 467 Bitcoin. If you're ever wondering when you go to CryptoSavingExpert.com, if it can be light or dark, you just press this little moon button up here and it changes it to light mode and dark mode. I actually quite like the look of light mode at the moment, but either way, MicroStrategy added 467 Bitcoin to its holdings in July, bringing the company's total Bitcoin stack to 152,800 Bitcoins. It's more Bitcoins than I've got, it's more Bitcoins than you've got. Unless you are Satoshi, of course. And in that case, welcome to the channel, Satoshi. Please do slap like and subscribe. Um, either way, good to see the price of Bitcoin rising up. We need to see today the level of $29,500 holding. Now, right now, we're on that $29,500 level. Now, it's easy to see what's going to happen here. If we look at the hourly chart, for example, we have a clear level. Oh, one second. There we go. We've got a clear level of resistance. And that clear level of resistance is incorrectly plotted on my chart. But if we correctly plot it, which is if we just move that away and bring that down just a little bit. There we go. You can see that basically we've bounced off of the outside of this level of what? Resistance support. Sorry. It's not resistance. It's support. Uh <laughs> Get your things mixed up all this time. How long have I been in the crypto space now? Since 2013. Still can't get my support and resistance right. But the thing is that you're just saying it off the cuff. I do apologize. There's people that pick me up on that stuff all the time. I'm so sorry. I just mixed them up. Either way, we're on that level of support right now. It is looking pretty decent. And of course, when you're on this level of support... All you need to do is hold this level. If we hold this level of support, odds are that we bounce up again and then come back up and then we probably peak somewhere around $29,700 and we just keep on meandering in this range until the end of the week and then hopefully we break above this key level of liquidity here which is currently sat at $29,824 and then break back into that $30,000 range. Now, it's clear that we can break back into that $30,000 range. It tends to be that when Bitcoin 
prints something, it then goes and re has a go at it. We, I can show you examples of this in the past. For example, when Bitcoin jumped up in price, or rather, yeah, it jumped up in price here and then it shot down in price, but it still went back and retested that high from that jump up because we'd cleared a lot of the orders in these levels. The same goes for when the price dropped down here and it hit this level of support and then bounced back down, but it still came back down and reprinted these low candles. So we can probably expect a continuation of this trend later on into the week where Bitcoin's price comes back up to around that 30 thousand dollar level but that's all assuming that this twenty nine thousand five hundred dollar level on the price of bitcoin holds how am i trading this right now i'm taking a long position at these levels here at twenty nine thousand four hundred eighty one dollars on bybit for which you'll find a link in today's video description and you should definitely join my world series of trading team there is now 124 people in that trading team i am the boss of the team that's my name in the team but essentially 124 people in this team right now you'll find a link for it in today's video description Go and join it if you want to join the World Series of Trading. And of course, the other thing would be before joining that World Series of Trading team, if you're new to Bybit, do make an account on there through the Bybit Lucky Draw link in today's video description. Nobody's won the Rolex yet. Somebody has to win it. And there's only 26 days left on this competition. If you don't have a Bybit account, it's well worthwhile having a Bybit account for the sake of making it and then trying to win a Rolex that's worth 15 grand. Somebody has to win it and they have to come out of this channel. They have to come out of my audience. So, and nobody's won it yet. So, and I think like about 30 people have entered. So not that many people. The odds are pretty decent. Um, so definitely check that out. You'll find a link for it in today's video description. But of course, Bitcoin today looking decent. It's holding those levels. Yes, we had a significant jump up. Yes, we've had a bit of a drop down. That's not bad. That's kind of what you want to see. If you saw just a moonshot, then you'd be a bit concerned about how big the drawdown's going to be. It's been a 50% drawdown on the move pretty much so far. And we are holding that level of support. So that's pretty decent. At the same time, we discussed this in yesterday's video that uh, I, I was explaining that this is not a bear flag. A lot of people talk about this being a bear flag on Bitcoin dominance. This is not a Bitcoin bear flag. This is a Bitcoin, it's not a bull flag either. It's, it's just more of a bullish pattern. I said that this would be a bear flag if we was to be trading upwards, but we're not. We're trading downwards, so therefore we should expect a breakout. And over the past 24 hours, we have had a breakout of that formation. So it's likely Bitcoin dominance starts going back to the upside and potentially taking a lump out of Ethereum. That, that, that again is being replicated here by the Ethereum Bitcoin dominance chart that actually is trading more so like a bear flag now, given how it's performed over the past 24 hours. So my eggs are back firmly in the Bitcoin court right now. I don't really expect a mega run on altcoins over the course of the next week. I am really looking at Bitcoin as being the key driver of the next wave in this market. And I think that that's going to happen. It just needs to be that Bitcoin is over $30,000. Ethereum's not going to pump and nothing's really going to pump until Bitcoin is over that $30,000 level. And I think that's, to be honest, where the bulk of the money is going to be made over the course of the next few weeks if Bitcoin gets above those levels. But the thing is that Bitcoin is fighting against right now is this. This is the DXY. It's the value of one US dollar against itself. And if we look at the DXY on the one hour chart here, you can see that it's been rallying pretty much nonstop since about the 13th or 14th of June. We're in August now. Yeah, we're in August. Wow. Uh, yeah, 13th or 14th of, what is, what is that? July. The 14th of July. We've been rallying nonstop. This is going to come to an end pretty soon. We are at these levels of resistance right now. We seem to be clearing them pretty easily, which is not going to be the case for much longer. There's another key level of resistance here that we're coming into contact with. I don't think this is going to hold. I think this is going to drop back to the downside. The dollar has been strong for the past like half a month now, but it's likely to drop back to the downside. And again, we've been seeing the stock market just cooling off, just cooling off ever so slightly. Again, this is the one hour chart. You can see that it's just, just nonstop rallying again in the stock market, but it's just cooling off over the past 24 hour period. Bitcoin just cooling off, but I think that's all about to change as Bitcoin starts taking lumps out of everything again and the dollar just cools off him. I, I, the, ultimately, the longer term chart for the dollar suggests the dollar is going to keep losing value, especially as inflation is declining. Um, they're going to probably start over the next couple of years. Again, this, you've got to speculate about these things years in advance, but money printing is going to resume. Inflation will resume. Like You can't not put new money into the system. You have to do that at some point in time. And so the question is, I mean, when was the last time that anybody actually printed money? I mean, if you're ever wondering where you can find when people last printed money, I can show you where it is. So the last time money was printed was back in March of this year. It was, uh, no, actually, no, it was May of this year. No, March, March. It was all in March. So we printed a bunch of money in March. And then since then, money has been declining in the system. When the money is declining in the system, generally the dollar is rising in value. When this chart is going up, which has been trending upwards 
since it has always existed. I mean, this is chart is starting back in the year 2000. It always trends upwards. When this starts going up again, Bitcoin will start going up again because that means money is going down in value because money is inflating in supply. Um, if you're ever wondering how to find that on uh, TradingView, you just type in W-A-L-C-L. Uh, it'll bring up the chart or U-S-C-B-B-S. Uh, those are the two things that will explain to you how much money there is in supply. Um, yes, other than that, what else have we got to discuss? I don't think a whole lot. Uh, I think that kind of summarizes everything for today, really. I think that overall, the trading levels of which you should be watching, I mean, I'm placing longs at these levels. I think that now is a good time to be going long on Bitcoin around $29,500, just on a speculative position that we're going to trade back up to around $29,900 to $29,800. I think it's a pretty decent level to be getting into a trade. Um, and yeah, make sure you've got your stop losses, place them tight around $29,500 as well. Keep those stop losses tight. Don't want to get caught out here if it does drop again to the downside but right now it is technically forming a bull flag where you've got a stalk upwards and a stalk outwards doesn't look all that bad to be honest but check out Bybit. you'll find a link in today's video description thank you all very much for watching today's video and i hope you have a very very profitable week um thank you for watching and uh, goodbye